today, ladies and gentlemen, today I got very some, I got something very special to show off. I worked long and hard on this. It was pretty cool, but I sent this to Discord, so some people already know about this. But I made a RBM Russian Batman st uh, kind of statuette thing. I am really happy how this turned out. I'll maybe I'll show like a full. It's kind of hard to show in this format here. If I let me, let me bring the camera back. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There's the full, this full RBM statue I made, and I was just, I'm really, you see the butt, but I'm really happy how this turned out. I'm just going to go into the process of how I kind of made it. Uh, I had this Batman figure, right, this kind of, this was a Batman figure, and it looked cool, but I was thinking, I've seen tons of, like, videos of people, like, taking figures, and, like, filling in the joints, and then, like, making this cool little statuette of, like, different characters. I'm like, I want to do that, but with this Batman, I can make it into Russian Batman. So I'm like, genius, you know? So I take this guy, and first what I do is the base. So you see here with the base is you got this base that is pretty uh, base. No, I'm just kidding. It's, it's just Lego bricks. I did that on purpose to kind of, you know, make it look like also got these Lego bricks with the uh, this paint all over it to kind of make it look like a bit like a paint stand, you know, where I paint my figures. It's not nearly as messy because, I mean, l look at this. That's not very visually appealing. So I made it kind of less messy to kind of make it more visually appealing. Now, like I said, I just I built these base out of just, you know, some bricks. Sadly, they are glued on just to make sure the integrity of this stays together. So I committed a sin. I glued bricks together. And, um, yeah, and so these all glued to the base. You can see here, I tried to put some scratches on the actual bricks to kind of make them a bit more old and weathered. And, yeah, so actually this was a gray base. The reason it's white is because I gave this whole thing a white primer. Uh, cause I, was, I couldn't find my black primer. So I used a white primer and then I, so that's where the base became white and then I painted these bricks, different colors. And I thought, Hey, I'm just going to keep the base white. Cause I mean, maybe that could just be a reference to a Justin's favorite base plate being a white base plate. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just using that as an excuse, but I, I liked how it looked, uh, to glue this guy on. Cause I just glued him on. So it's no wire or nothing going through this guy's legs. But I glued him on. What I did is I actually sanded down the studs that he's standing on. I sanded down the studs so he's just mostly standing on the base of the thing. So you got one leg here, one leg here, and that's how he's uh, standing. And he's, he's on there pretty well. Uh, I feel like it might be a bit loose. But no, I think he's on there pretty well. And this works great as a base because he, he ain't... I mean, unless you uh, really knock him. Like here. Like he, he, it ain't... It ain't it isn't something that you think is going to fall over unless you really push it that way. I guess the best way it could fall over is this way, but like I said, no way he's falling over this way. He could fall over this way, but yeah, so it's pretty good base, I think. Um, moving up here, like I said, for the rest, like I said, what I did is I posed this guy in the pose I wanted him. I wanted him obviously standing up so it would be more interesting. That's why I kind of built these bricks. I posed him the way I wanted, and then I just really, I glued the, just the limbs together, put some glue in between the limbs, and then green stuff to kind of seal the little, you can see there's a lot of green stuff for this elbow, you can't really see it, and then, yeah, so green stuff to kind of seal it in, to make it kind of look nice and smooth, now, interesting thing, and then, yeah, then after that, I did the primer, and boom. Interesting thing about this, uh, the sweatshirt design that he has here that he has kind of tied around his waist. This was actually from the original figure. It had a cape that went into his neck and then all the way down. What I decided to do is I just took the cape, right? Because it kind of already looks like cloth. I cut up the cape, right, to give to make it way shorter. And I think I cut up a little bit too much. So you got his boom boom showing. Which kind of funny, but so yeah, so I so I kind of cut it up, 
and put them together. Then I cut up two little other pieces of leftover um, cape to make these little to make the little um, these little straps and put one right there. So that's how I did that with the arms. I you like to say glued them in place, right? I have to back up a little. This arm was kind of tricky. So you got the Infinity Gauntlet. I decided to do Infinity Gauntlet, just his hand in Infinity Gauntlet, right? To actually have an Infinity Gauntlet. Because then I didn't actually have to paint on the torso. Um, which I was kind of, that. so it's getting a bit lazy. I'm like, you know, not a bit lazy. But I think it would be really cool if he actually had the Infinity Gauntlet. Instead of actually just wearing it on his, like, shirt design. Um, the way I did this is this is actually just... The bulk of the design is really just the original gauntlet the Batman figure had. I just took off little, you know, little uh, spikes he has on there. Where I just, normal one, I just painted on gold. And even these Infinity Gauntlets, the top, like, four Infinity Gauntlets. Uh, Infin sorry, Infinity Stones, not Gauntlets. Um, if we can get a better look. Those are just the knuckles, right? You see they're a bit high. Those are just the knuckles. They'd be kind of protruding knuckles. And then for the, I just had to really use green stuff to put these two stones on. And that was, you know, pretty easy. All right. And for this arm in particular, um, it's funny because the joint, how this joint worked, you see, I had a lot of green stuff here for this elbow. But how the joint worked, right, is this arm wouldn't naturally go in this pose, right? Obviously, the arm, the, there's a joint at the elbow, right? So I can, you know, rotate this up and down. The thing was, you see here, right? The face of his hand is in alignment. You see the 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 front of the hand, not sorry, the back of the hand, right, is in alignment. This is how it naturally is, in alignment with the side of the. Um, so he has kind of a rotated wrist, right? Just this figure has a rotated wrist that just is rotated naturally. If you do that, you're rotating it, right? Is in alignment with the um, not with the back of the elbow, but with the side of the arm. And the same thing was with this one. So he didn't actually have hand rotation. Like I said, it was in alignment with the side of the arm. So the, this front little part was in the alignment, like I said, with the side, which didn't make it convenient for doing this pose where I could really show off the infinity gauntlet because this would be all the way, like I said, facing this way, right? So what I did, I, I just completely cut off the forearm and then, and then glued it back on and then put a crap ton of green stuff to kind of make that elbow go in so now he so that's how i was able to do it with uh so it wasn't this was kind of a bit more of a trickier part now with the um also another thing is you might notice he doesn't have bare feet he actually does have boots um so sorry about sorry for potato mean i can't have bare feet i apologize but i was just really i was too lazy to get rid of these boots and put like natural feet in that would be really probably way too hard and i do really like how this uh looks so uh yeah also i started making a mock-up for just a figure version of this um but i haven't finished i need to get a golden arm so i can do the infinity gauntlet but yeah so you see here he had also i gave i kept his utility belt on because one i think it just looked cool and uh two i was l lazy so you know me laziness always prevails here, I use green stuff to kind of give him the short sleeve shirt. See there as well. Uh, he has... The only thing about him is... I, I love that, uh, how just muscular this guy is. You know, unlike me in real life. Actually, no, I am this muscular in real life, obviously. Um, but see his weird lines in there, which was kind of annoying. I was thinking of getting rid of them, but I little lazy and i thought it looked good with them regardless so uh yeah i really just wanted to get on with the painting process painting process is my probably my favorite process i like the sculpting but painting is really good i got this face at an angled look same exact same face the original batman had and the funny thing is this i really like this face mold um the mouth originally had a black outline inside which kind of made it look really ugly and now just without it it looks just thousand times, but I wish I had a figure, uh, a picture of the original Batman. If I can find like what this was online, I got it at GameStop so a while ago. So yeah, you see there he has just the the neck's a bit long, bit long neck because um it had the the uh, cape coming out of it, so it made it look shorter. 
Uh, but now without it, it kind of gives him a bit of a long neck, but I, I like how that looks. Anyways, um, another thing about this is that he does have, um, like I said, utility belt. And also with his um, pants, I did give him the red Adidas, which now thinking about it, the only thing Russian about my sig fig is the fact that he wears Adidas. Like that, or wearing Adidas is a very Russian thing. Like you, you see, like a like a Russian rapper or something, or just like techno music. They're always wearing like a crap ton of Adidas, which I only wear Adidas pants. I don't wear. I mean, like I said, I love the Adidas sweatpants. I wear those like all the time because they're just co comfortable. And I hate jeans, like jeans and other pants like that. Like they're really uncomfortable. But I love the kind of just the generic Adidas with the stripes or off-brand Adidas. Maybe I'll get copyrighted if they're actually Adidas. So, guys, then they're not Adidas. Um, or Adidas. I don't know how you know you 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 like to say them. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's really it for this guy. Like I said, it took me a while to make him, and I'm just really happy how he turned out. These projects. I mean, I I really only make them for me to witness. But now you guys can witness it too with this be you got the beautiful RBM Botox. And uh yeah, that's uh that's really it. If you guys like this masterpiece of a figure, if you guys want to see me actually record the process of me making this, uh I probably should have. It would have made a more interesting video than me just talking about it. But yeah, please tell me if you guys want me to see me make more stuff like this non lego related but still kind of figure related because it's like a a figure right but it's not like a lego mini figure more like a bigger figure <laughs> it kind of right uh yeah just tell me and i'll probably make more in the future uh maybe maybe i should make like a if i find like some good figures i should make it just too big maybe okay maybe if i can find like a hulk you know i'll make like a just too big out of it that would be a good idea maybe could find a smaller one to go with it, just too big and on go go Logan. Would it be really cool to make it? And I could put it next to this, and I could maybe give it like a similar like base, where it's the Lego base to kind of reference the fact that you know we we're still I still mostly work in Lego, but uh yeah, like I said, if you like the video, leave it a like. Please share it. I worked hard on this, so if this video could do well, that would be greatly greatly appreciated. Because like I said, I I worked. I mean, it doesn't look that hard. But it was pretty hard. You got to do the base, the primer, multiple layers of paint that you got to wait for. The I mean, it was, I'm not trying to like be like, oh, you should do, you know, make you feel guilty or nothing. But, you know, it, it, it would be nice if you were to, you know, maybe like, maybe just like the video. Yeah, you know, or just, or just watch the video and just leave a comment. You know, that would be nice. And uh, yeah, and also, you know what else is nicer? Just you having a nice day. I want you you in particular, you watching this video, yes, you, you just have a nice day and nice rest of the day. I hope you have a nice weekend, nice weekend, wherever you are. Just, just enjoy life, man. You know, life is, uh, is very enjoyable. So yeah. And, uh, I'll see you in the next, uh, video and, uh, yeah. Bye.